faces, the music goes, your mothers were on, we're the ghosts, the faces, stay in the kitchen when the kitchen gets hot, ghosts, the faces, the face of nightmare, the face of dread, ghosts, the faces, we face of faceless, we face of dead. Welcome to Ghost Facers. Today we're discussing Halloween. Yeah, it's Hunter Ween. That's right. The second one. Oh my God. I can't believe we've done two of these already. Yeah. Yeah. We decided last year to put like something special out where we picked a monster that does not appear on Supernatural. On Supernatural. Mm -hmm. uh, in any of the seasons, not just so far. Yeah. Uh, and to do like a little dad's journal about it. And last year, oh, Knuckle of V, a truly horrifying one. Oh my god, a skinless mutant centaur with one eye and arms that reached the ground that was afraid of water and came out of the sea. I think you jumped the shark last year. I don't know if there's any way to compete with that. I felt that way too. Actually, yeah. I was like, I can't just go to like Ogo Pogo or yeah. some <laughs> shit like that now. Like, I gotta. You yeah, know. how do you compete with Nuklavi? And I can't just keep go with Scott. I can't just go to Nessie. I can't just keep. I gotta move. <laughs> Have away you from heard Scotland. about the theory about Nessie? That it's not real. No, but the, the what it actually is a bunch of tires floating in the lake. Have you heard about the whale penis theory? A severed whale penis? No. So apparently, if you look up whale penis Loch Ness monster, you'll see what I mean. Yeah. Oh, it's auto completing. <laughs> uh, a the a whale because w if a whale sticks its dick out of the water, it looks exactly like the shadow of the Loch Ness monster. Is <laughs> is, is Loch Ness monster's long neck a whale penis? Look at the photos. Go to images. Experts have divided opinions. Look at the okay, images. images. <laughs> right? <laughs> you know? <laughs> I mean, what a weird shape for a penis, first of all. And I'm saying that as a human male. Oh, that's... <laughs> that's yeah, that's, that's, that's weird. Yeah. Uh-oh. <laughs> I... <laughs> right? Are there whales in Loch Ness? See, that's though? the Isn't bigger problem. Landlocked? And that's not a thing that you could like hide is a whale. Yeah, it's not like Operation Dumbo Drop where once a <laughs> yeah. year they put a whale in there. It's like, like, get his dick hard and keep all the conspiracy theorists happy. Yeah, no, it was like a free willy situation where it jumped from the ocean all the way into the Loch Ness. Yeah, to fuck with people. Yeah, <laughs> it's very funny. I mean, the photo comparison is definitely worth a laugh. <laughs> it's worth the Google, I nothing else. I suspect that's not what it is, but... God, is it funny, funny yeah. yeah. <laughs> and now you've seen a whale penis, so... That's quite good. What a day. I enjoy that. <laughs> oh, man. But yeah, I mean, last year I went pretty hard with the Nukla V. Yeah. A truly horrifying-looking beast. Looks... Look, if you're with your partner, start with a finger. Don't go right. Uh, don't go directly into a knuckle in Levy. Yeah, no, no, no. Don't knuckle Levy, and certainly don't knuckle a three. Yeah. Oh uh, no. <laughs> oh God. This year, I don't know if I went as hard as last year. Sure, I don't think you could. But I feel like I found something suitably fucked. All right. That it felt like that's like the premise of Hunter Ween is like things that were too fucked for them to use on the show. Mm -hmm. um, should I just get into it? Yeah, why not? All right. Well, then. I'm full of gin. Yeah, strap I'm in then. I'm, I'm healing my supernatural tattoo. I actually can't pronounce this. Uh, but let's see what the lore says about the Mananangal. <laughs> the Mananangal? The the Mananangal. 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 I'm probably this is getting more Manan -nan 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 It's getting more offensive the more times I try. Mananangal. Manangal. Mananangal. 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 It's a creature of Philippine folklore. <laughs> oh no. Yeah. Uh in many ways similar to a vampire. Oh. Uh to start with. Um, the word comes from like a root word in the Tagalog uh, language that means like to separate or to sever um, because 
the Manangal is famous for splitting itself in two at the waist. Oh. Essentially. I mean, you can do some great stuff if you can split yourself at the waist. Essentially. At night, it severs its torso from its legs, sprouts bat wings, and flies into the night in search of prey. <laughs> oh my god. And it leaves its more vulnerable lower half behind. It has to separate to gain its ability to fly. It doesn't get the wings unless it removes its legs. So its dick is just sitting there, like, in the wind, waiting? No, no, no. Like, at the waist. That's like, what I mean, though. Like, so now the legs oh, and dick right, are just right. there. Well, but here's the... here's the so. Or vagina. Thank you. <laughs> Equal opportunity. Um, it has to leave its legs, like, somewhere secure or secluded because they are vulnerable while it's off flying and hunting. Um, so do you kill it by chopping off its genitals? Just wait. We, uh, we'll we get there. Don't you worry. You put a stake through its ass. <laughs> Clove of garlic in the pussy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm, I'm so sorry. Um, Talk about a WAP. Oh, yeah, with blood. Um, it's Italian, it's garlic. The Mananangal, <laughs> they, are, they take the form, or they just look this way, of like older, beautiful women. Mm -hmm. Right away, I'm prey. Yeah. <laughs> they're Praying large. for a Mananangal. Yeah, yeah. Um, they're, okay, this is where it gets weird and gross. <laughs> oh, this is it. Okay. Just, hold on, just wait. Their preferred prey, from what I can see, are um, sleeping pregnant women. Oh, no. So here's the thing. The wings they sprout when they separate their torso sure. are like bat wings. Again, very vampire-like, very vampiric. They are said to have fangs. Again, very vampiric, very mm -hmm. vampire-like. But they don't bite with the fangs. Well, I have them. It's said that they have like a long, like proboscis tongue, you know, like uh, a butterfly. Oh, you know, like where it like unravels, like it's got like the tongue in the like. <laughs> yes, and uh, they use that to either suck the blood of a sleeping person, mm -hmm. or to specifically get inside and suck the hearts of f fetuses. Oh no! In Not the victims. younglings. The, yeah. <laughs> Master Skywalker, <laughs> there are too many. Uh, um, yeah, it can <laughs> with the Just tongue. Gotta stop doing that sound the, in the move. The tongue is long, hollow, and extremely flexible. Mm. She uses it to puncture the womb of the sleeping woman and to suck out the. Oh, well, this is just to suck out the fetus. In the other one, it said get the heart, but. Um, Sometimes she seduces men. Uh, in uh, one, yeah, my uh, fetus is a little lower. <laughs> Jesus. Um, yeah, keep sucking. You'll get it out. Jesus. I mean, it's a prefix. Good Lord. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Good Lord. <laughs> that is... <laughs> Jesus. Oh, you man on my God. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> um... <laughs> They're also said to eat like organs and stuff, yeah, heart, there you lungs, go. <laughs> liver. Sometimes they go after men. And one thing that I read, it was like specifically about grooms to be. What? And that possibly they also haunt newlyweds or like lovers or things like that. Uh oh. Which is maybe connected to the pregnant women thing somehow, but I couldn't find like a good connection there at all. Um, That's how you get those fetuses fresh. <laughs> Uh, yeah, sometimes, especially in the case of men, they'll like seduce them, lure them somewhere. Again, very kind of vampire-like. Yeah, I, I would say that way. Um, but yeah, it's an older, beautiful woman. Um, their weaknesses. Again, start with like vampire, <coughs> vampire kind of adjacent. Sure. Shit. Yeah. Yeah. Sunlight. Oh, okay. Yeah. Is only deadly. To them, if they're in their monstrous form, fair. I think they can survive if they're like reconstituted and just walking around the town. But I if if they're separated from their lore, and they have the bat wings and shit like that, and then the sun comes up, that's bad. Oh. But if they manage to get back to their legs, they can like go to work the next day. 
I'd love to know like what where this like where it's connected to. You know, so many of these stories are like, well, it's because somebody saw this thing or like, right. This animal actually does that, and that's why they thought it was a... Yeah, I mean, I defy you to find the animal that does that. Yeah, yeah, this. that's why yeah. I'm like, what is... Th-? I mean, there might be some weird bug that does that, but... Please, I don't want to think about that. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely not. No. Um, yeah, you're right. I have no idea. Um, if the two halves are still separated by dawn, that's bad. Um, according to legend... You can, uh, you could destroy the Manangal, um, with like salt, ash, garlic, those kind of like other kind of holy religious quote unquote, yeah, things. Yeah. But specifically, there's a thing where it's like you're supposed to find where they've stowed their legs. There it is, and then you put the garlic and shit like in the top of their legs, so oh. that when they put back together, it's in the middle of it's them. Like fucking kills them. I want to know, or, the, like, or it's that they can't attach again because of that, or some shit like that. It's one or the other, but either way, it's pretty fucked. Oh, because like also, is it like an open wound or like? I think so, because some of the artist things that I've seen, it's like ripping. Ugh! Like here, uh, I'm gonna pull up a photo. It I'm hurts every time. You. I mean, if I say a photo, it's not a photo. It's like, a... Oh my god, you got photographic proof? Yeah, Peter Parker took this. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Peter Manangalov or oh, can't be reached. I can't make the image bigger because the the site won't load. But that's what we're looking at. Ugh. See, it looks like it's like intestines Ripped. are like yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. It's pretty fucked. Uh, I love some of these like fan art ones where they're just like make them like a make sexy try to make them just like a hot mom <laughs> you just like have this weird fan <laughs> art of like manangal <laughs> manangal well it is just like they rip apart yeah i mean th- again that's the artistic interpretation of it i'm, I'm yeah the going... real thing's probably a little bit different i have yeah yeah the real <laughs> one um but yeah basically you have to prevent the monster from combining again and you leave it vulnerable in the sunlight. It's essentially the idea. So it's not necessarily like, I think in some of the things that I read, it was like, yeah, that you could like ward them off with some garlic and stuff. But if you want to kill them, it's not that the garlic in their legs kills them. It's that it prevents them from recombining. And then if they're still in their monster form when the sun comes up, then they're fucked. I want to know what the first Manangal that like was like, I have a weird idea. What if I separated my body in half? I think I could fly. And everybody else is like, I no, that's not why where would you think no? Like the like as, as as if like the vampires in the Philippines were just a little too bottom heavy. Yeah. They were like, We get the wings, but like we're not getting enough lift. Yeah. So like, well no, but they only my get shit off. They only get the wings right if, but i think they evolve right like yeah because i wonder if they just they did they didn't even know if they could fly but they just assumed if they ripped their or body the townspeople were like this person's a fucking vampire rip their legs off and then they're like we made this worse yeah like, somebody like, just <laughs> staple wings to them so that we can or, or they, they do it and then the wings spread and they're like fuck yeah <laughs> they're like uh-oh and that's how they found out. Yeah, that's, that's the first one. Now found. they can fly. Way to go, yeah, Jeremy. Yeah. Oh, my God. All we have to do is just tear our body in half. Oh, pff, easy peasy. I got that. That's just an afternoon. Here's yeah, that's the thing. Fun. This is not the only Filipino vampire <laughs> that basically does this or sucks fetuses. Mm, I'm, listening. Feti. I'm listening. Yeah, multiple um, fetuses. There's one called a mandurugo. Which oh. means blood sucker. I guess like man must be the blood part of uh, the, okay, sure. the word. Um, yeah, it's a variety that takes the form of an attractive girl by day, develops wings, long, hollow tongue at night. Mm. Um, they also eat entrails like a vacuum. and shit. Yeah, I guess if you want to th- think about it that way. Yeah. Um, one of the other things that I found. Um, okay, so. This myth is popular in very uh, specific um, regions of the Philippines. There are varying accounts. Uh, some say that you could get them with holy water and shit like that. Uh, apparently, they were also possibly known to avoid daggers, light, vinegar, spices, and the tail of a stingray, which can be fashioned as a whip. Oh, I thought you meant like a story. 
No, the, yeah, the, uh, the tail of a stingray. <laughs> Tell me, sir, of the great reefs. No, don't. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, I bring that up because mm-hmm. I fibbed a little. Oh? This monster, technically speaking, appears in Supernatural. What? But not on the show. There is a novel oh that God. ties into Supernatural in which the brothers fight. It's I don't think it's specifically named a Mananangal, but they fight basically this monster. And they do kill it by making a stingray tail whip covered in spices. What? <laughs> Uh, the novel, I believe, is called Fresh Meat. Wow. And uh, yeah, it's a supernatural adjacent uh, property. I don't know the canon status of it, but uh, I lied a tiny bit. Never shows up in the show, but in this novel, the Winchesters fight one of these. Does this mean we need to write a book? And I think it's like Sam wh- like whipping like, a deceased stingray's tail covered in fucking paprika or whatever. Jesus. <laughs> So we need to write a Knuckle of E story then. Oh, I mean, if there's not one, I might have just missed that last yeah. year. Yeah. You know? Um, which is wild. Um, so there are sightings uh, purported uh, not only in the Philippines, but also in Indonesia and Malaysia. Um, yeah. Appearances in film and other media. It's mostly Filipino films uh, until you get down to... Yeah, Fresh Meat 2013, a novel tie-in to the TV series Supernatural by Alice Henderson. Features the main characters battling an Aswang, which is like the sort of general word for, I think, like vampires and stuff like Mm. that, Um, uh, in the Sierra Nevada mountains during a blizzard. A lot of weird things. Yeah, that's very specific. The creature in this novel sucks human organs out through a proboscis and inserts body parts of other humans into the victim that seals the hole, which is way more fucked up. The main characters make a whip tipped with sting with a stingray barb and coated with spices to kill the creature. I just it's such a vague statement. Spices, yeah, like any spices. Well, it's probably the eleven herbs and yeah, <laughs> the eleven deadly herbs. Colonel, now is no time for secrets. <laughs> so- you and you and Doctor Pepper get over here. Yeah. Colonel, tell us what's in it. Never. <laughs> you can't bring in jokes from other podcasts. <laughs> you can't bring in jokes from other podcasts. Mm, the Patreon. Feeds. So creamy. Um, yeah, there's uh, a lot of like foreign films seem to use it. Again, specifically a lot of Filipino films. Sure, yeah. Although, okay, <laughs> this is another fun little uh, pop culture thing. In the erotic novel. <laughs> Melania, Devourer of Men from 2018 by J.D. Uh, Benninger. Melania Trump is a secret Manonangal who struggles to keep her identity hidden after her husband becomes president. I really want to read that. <laughs> I really want to read that. Yeah. Isn't that amazing? That's incredible. Yeah. I... I can't believe that that is is it a thing that uh, exists. Yeah. So so that's there. That's 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 one. Um, there's the, I used the word aswang before. Uh, I'm just I just looked it up. It's a generic term. It basically just means monster. Could mean werewolves, oh, vampires, okay. things like that. Um, sometimes mananangals are called tick ticks. Uh, oh, is, I'm too young to. I'm too old to be on tick tick. <laughs> which is the sound that it makes when flying oh i guess the sound of it like tick, 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 is supposed to be the sound of it's like bony wings on the wind or something i don't like that yeah folklore dictates that the fainter the sound the nearer the mononical is that doesn't make any sense it's scary though so it's louder goes farther away yeah faint. imagine you hear a sound and then it gets quieter and quieter and quieter and that means it's getting closer until there's nothing and then it's too late Oh, that's terrifying. Right? I don't like that. Uh, yeah, this is to confuse the victim. Uh, black cats and crows often signal a Tic Tac's presence, and deformed faces or bodies in children are allegedly signs of the aftermath of a Tic Tic attack. A Tic Tic attack? <laughs> yeah. Six feet tall and so <laughs> You seen this Tic Tic? It's viral. Uh, but yeah. That's, I mean, there's not a ton more to say about it than that. 
But I thought it was pretty fucked that A, it rips itself in half, and B, it seems to eat fetuses. I mean, yeah, don't we all? I mean, Jesus. What? What? Hmm? I have eggs in the morning. <laughs> yeah, there you go. But yeah, what do you think of the Mananangal? I don't like it. Uh, the, it's it's somehow more disturbing. Like the the Nuklavi is like visually more upsetting. Right, the skinless scary. thing and the it's scary. The fact that it's a full horse and the torso of a human. Yeah, but this is like disturbing. Yeah, I it, and again, I mean, back to your point. The thing I'm most curious about is like, why is that part of the lore? Yeah, where did it come from? Because like, I can I can imagine somebody who's like guy in a horse like got burned or something, and somebody. Sure. Thought of a knuckle of it. Sure, yeah. Or even just from far away, you can't see his legs. You yeah. see the silhouette, and you think maybe his legs are his arms or something, and you're yeah, like, oh, yeah, fuck, yeah, shit, yeah, it's a knuckle of yeah. I, You can kind of I can get there. It. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But the fucking, like, Mananga, like, it's like, it split itself in half, and like, what, like, its guts are coming out. Like, what? Let's just say, though, these attractive older women, I'd split them in half. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. I could uh, suck out my feet, if you know what I mean. <sighs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I had to. Uh, you were holding it in. I, I was. See it. I was. I was being pretty well behaved. <laughs> okay, I knew. <laughs> yeah, pretty pretty fucked up. Um, yeah, I mean, it's it. I think it's interesting too, just to see the cultural difference in the vampire lore, because even when it's yeah. not a Mananangal, the idea that like. The, the sort of Philippine Indonesian version of a vampire has more of that like sort of sucking tongue yeah. than fangs. And then you're like, oh, man, is that just because there's like more crazy insects and shit? Because it's oh, like yeah. tropical. And, yeah. Like, is that maybe like that informs the. Oh, that's that sort of thing. Like, I, 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 I am curious about where that stuff comes from. But it's interesting to see these sort of like geographic sub categories of the same kind of monster. Yeah. Like, a lot of the vampire shit is in there. Now, the bit I couldn't figure out is whether or not some of that stuff was imprinted onto it later. Sure. You know, like the, the Dutch and the Portuguese start doing their fucking trading and shit in sure, yeah. Southeast Asia in the you know colonial era, they go, that kind of sounds like a vampire. Uh, have you used salt? And then that becomes like part of, part the, of the lore, yeah. Garlic or whatever. I don't know if that is has always been part of it or if that's like a colonial imprint or not. Well, because I know that like Christianity became really big in the Philippines and like salt has always been like a purifying thing. So, well, and and yeah. this is just, I mean, something like holy water, you go like, well, yeah, that's an import. But yeah. then you wonder, it's like, did... Va or, how much of this came over? Is it just those elements or is it the idea of it being a vampire? Maybe they yeah. just had a thing that rips itself in half and it like eats your organs. And then they go like, that's not really our thing, but we could squish these together. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I, I'd be curious to learn more about that. Like the, the real sort of like ethno origin of the myth, because it seems odd to be really so close to a vampire, and that's just the, these crazy left turn kind of thing. It feels like they were two separate things, or like, yeah, that right, yeah, or they're like inspired by something for sure. Totally, yeah. Uh, but yeah, uh, okay. Last question. Yeah, which would haunt your dreams more, the Nakalivi or the Mananangal? I think the Mananangal, to be honest. Yeah. Because I'm like, the Nukla V, it's like, it's not getting in the house. Like, well, yeah, I mean, famously, I mean, even a horse got upstairs. Good luck getting down. Well, yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm kind of saved at that point. <laughs> All you got to do is get back downstairs. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But this thing, it's like, it fly, can fly in. It can, like, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's more upsetting to Definitely, me. Definitely, yeah. And just dragging, like, it's ripped. Yeah, yeah. That's awful. Yeah. It's kind of crazy that, like, it hasn't been used 
Yeah. More in a, like that it just seems like a, there's a lot of stuff going on. I think that's part of it. Totally. Like it's like vampire. It's like eh, it needs teeth and then it could bite you. Boom. You don't even really need the wings or anything else. Yeah. Well, it's also like low production. Like just like here's like a bunch of plastic teeth. Yeah. Yeah. You're fine. Get this shot. But this is like okay, it has to tear itself in half and then it gets <laughs> wings and drags its guts everywhere. <laughs> And it's got a tongue that run ravels. I would love to see like James Wan make a Madonna Gall movie. Oh yeah, Just hell yeah, fucking do it, man. Oh yeah, yeah, um, yeah. They go to the Jolly Bee and then they get <laughs> eaten. I am interested in like maybe trying to track down that supernatural novel though. Yeah, because yeah. I hadn't even thought about that. We've talked before about how there's tie-in comics and shit like that. Yeah. I hadn't even thought about novels. Well, there's tons of novels. Of course there are. There must be. Yeah. But now I'm like, oh, fuck. Now I got to go find that shit. I also, that what about Melania Trump? That's really funny. To me. I, I desperately want that book. Yeah. That's so funny. Well, there you go. That's the Hunter Ween oh, Dad's Journal. Happy Hunter Ween. On the Mananangal. I apologize yeah. if you're Filipino and I'm butchering that word. Let us know if you are. Let us know how to pronounce it. Yeah. So if it and if there's lore up. that we're missing or like maybe yeah. there's maybe there's regional parts of like the Philippines and stuff where that story changes. Totally. Or if you're like Malaysian or Indonesian yeah. and there's variants of, of the, the myth or whatever, please let us know. I'm deeply, deeply curious about this horrifying vampire variant. Yeah, also so, uh, for future years, if there's stuff that you know that's not in sort of supernatural, and it's weird shit. Yeah, and it's like maybe from your area yeah. or just something that you're familiar with. Like, yeah, that send it our way. I'd love to get. To, I want to keep the trend going of finding like monsters too fucked for TV. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh yeah, this monster's too fucked for TV. Yeah, you, you won't last forty seconds. <laughs> this monster's too fucked. <laughs> Arguably too fucked, actually. Yeah, that's actually my favorite yeah. store to go to is the too fucked. I'm just going to put like a series of pictures of Mananangal on Pornhub and just be like, watch me split this one. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> just find clips from the Filipino horror movie. Be like, this woman gets split in half. This stepmother. <laughs> before she sucks the insides uh, out of them. The fetus out of <laughs> them. Oh, God. Jesus Christ. Uh, all right. Uh, uh, say goodbye, bitch. <laughs> Jerk.